Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the Timeless Trends Hourglass Light Corset. So this is the same pattern as their standard length hourglass corsets, but the light version has only two layers of fabric instead of three. So without further ado, here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So for the length and fit of this corset, today I'm actually wearing the size 22. So the waist here is 22 inches lace closed. The rib cage here is 28 and a half inches. Now my rib cage likes to be closer to about uh, 29 and a half to 30 inches uh, because I squish upwards. So that's why I'm getting like a little bit of squidge around here. If I opened it up maybe about an inch in the back, uh, it would get rid of that muffin top here. So the rib spring is still six and a half inches in this corset and the hip spring is 10 inches. So the uh, total circumference at the high hip here is 32 inches and that pretty much perfectly matches my hips now. And the length measurements of this corset is still the same compared to their standard length hourglass. So the center front here is 11 and a half inches. At the princess seam here is about nine and a half. The side seam is nine and a half again and in the center back it's 13 inches. And you can see that it has a gently cupped rib here, both at the side and if I turn to the, the quarter profile here, close to the front. And the hips kind of kick out in a straight line and it stops right at the iliac crest. So let's go to the tabletop portion of this review and I can show you all the details close up. So here is the Tyler's Trans Light Corset Laid Flat, and for the materials, there are two layers in this corset as opposed to their usual three. So the fashion fabric of this one is their iridescent blue satin, and this is directly laminated or fused to black cotton twill on the inside. This is what the Timeless Trends label looks like. On the reverse side, it has the fabric content and cleaning instructions, the size in inches, and the country of manufacture. Turning to the side is a six panel pattern or 12 panels total. One, two, three makes the front, four, five, six makes the back. And as usual, um, you can see that there's quite a lot of room for the ribs here in panel two, and again in panels five and six here. And most of the curve over the hip is uh, distributed over panels three and four on the sides here. For the construction, as mentioned before, the fashion fabric was fused to the black cotton twill, and then the panels were assembled together with the seam allowances facing the inside. The seam allowances were used as the boning channels, so it's double boned still at the seams here, and you can see that on the inside, grosgrain ribbon was laid down to further protect the seam allowances on the inside. You can also very plainly see the waist tape running through the inside of the corset here. It's one inch wide, made from grosgrain ribbon. Uh, it runs from the center front all the way to the center back, and it's anchored at each seam here. And here's a close-up of the binding made from bias strips of matching iridescent blue satin here. It's a machine finished on both outside and inside. On the outside, you can see that it is stitched in the ditch, so you can't really see the seam that well. And then on the inside, there is a little bit of a top stitch here. And you can also see that there are six garter tabs in this corset, three on each side. And by default, Thomas Trans corsets do not come with a back modesty panel. However, if you insist on having a modesty panel, uh, they are sold separately. Uh, they are stiffened and suspended on the laces and you can buy them in a couple of different colors. But there is a half inch wide mozzie placket here, uh, extending up from the knob side of the busk. It's unstiffened and finished in the same fashion fabric. As usual, the busk in this corset is 10 inches long, and that's standard for all of their standard or regular length hourglass corsets. It's a standard flexible busk, half inch wide on each side, has five loops and pins equidistantly spaced, and is also reinforced by another quarter inch wide flat steel bone on either side, which makes it fairly stiff in the front. This corset has a total of 26 bones, 13 on each side, not including the center front busk here. So it's double boned on the seams with quarter inch wide spirals, two, four, six, eight, ten. So if you double that for the other side, that makes 20 quarter inch wide spiral steel bones. And you can see that these all quite strongly attract my magnet here. And then in the back here, you have two flat steel bones sandwiching the grommets. These are about three eighths of an inch wide, so they're a little bit wider than your quarter inch wide uh, flat steel bones. And these also attract my magnet, as well as another flat steel bone here in the front. So that makes a total of 20 spirals and six flat steel bones. 
There are a total of 28 grommets in the back of this corset, 14 on each side. They're size zero, and they have a small to medium flange around them, and finished in a kind of darker silver, more of a pewter color. And you can see that they're equidistantly spaced. They're all holding in fairly well. Here are the back of the grommets. You can see that they all contain a washer. All of them have rolled really well, very few splits. Whatever splits there are don't really catch on the laces themselves. They're all holding in pretty nicely. And the laces themselves are a half inch wide single face satin ribbon, at least in this style. Depending on the style you get, if you were to get, say, um, the black cotton, it would be laced with shoelace instead of ribbon. So uh, the laces do vary depending on the colorway you choose. Uh, but these are definitely long enough. They glide well through the grommets themselves. I personally prefer uh, more of a double face satin ribbon, but laces are very easy to switch out. And if you happen to get a corset that has shoelace while you prefer ribbon or ribbon while you prefer shoelace, uh, Thomas Trans does sell extra laces in their store as an accessory. The Hourglass Light Corsets are exclusive to Timeless Trends, so this is one style that you will not find in my personal shop. Uh, but it's available in 21 different colors, and it starts around $65 US. Because their light hourglass corsets have one less layer of fabric compared to their standard hourglass corsets, and subsequently it makes the corset a lot faster to sew as well, this accounts for the $25 discount uh, of the light hourglass corsets compared to their standard ones. However, Thomas Trent still stands by their lifetime guarantee. They say that even though this has one less uh, layer of fabric, it's still just as strong in construction compared to their other corsets. So these corsets are still covered under their lifetime guarantee. And this concludes my review of the Thomas Trans Hourglass Light Corset. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If it did, please remember to click that like button down there as it helps support this channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or Thomas Trans in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you have your very own light corset, let us know what you think of it in a comment down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on the next video. Bye.